What's up guys, welcome back to another video of custom room. So in this video, we'll be talking about Paranoid Android, which got the latest build just two days back. So we have installed it on a OnePlus 7 Pro and Paranoid Android is not only limited to OnePlus 7 Pro, it supports many other smartphones too. So I'll provide the official link of Paranoid Android. You guys can check out a supported device and install the same room. So here you can see this is my OnePlus 7 Pro, which is currently running on Paranoid Android, third build based on Android 12. Here you can see it says Alpha 3, so this is the third build based on Android 12 and we still have 5th Feb 2022 security patch. And guys before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video and still we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so it's a humble request do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. First talking about the benchmarks on this latest build of Paranoid Android. So here with the Geekbench application, single core have scored 737 and multi core have scored 2239. On the previous build which was second build, their single core had scored 630 and multi-core had scored 2320. So way better scores in the single core. With Android 2 benchmark application, device scores 5,92,092, where on the previous build scores were 5,61,166. Huge improvement in the benchmark results with this latest build. Also when it comes to CPU throttling, previous build max CPU throttled up to 86%, but on this build, max CPU throttled up to 91%. On earlier builds of Paranoid Android, we have been seeing AOSP camera pre-installed but now here we have the Google Camera Go Edition. Though it doesn't have the support of different lenses, but you can use this camera to click some awesome portrait pictures. And specifically for OnePlus 7 Pro, I'll provide the OnePlus stock camera application that should work on any custom room. Along with that, we have made a video on ported OnePlus stock applications which can be used on any custom room. So link of that video can be found in the description below. You can try out those OnePlus stock applications on your device running Paranoid Android. And also guys, from past few videos, we have been seeing some comments related to resolution of display on custom rooms. So for example, my OnePlus 7 Pro supports QHD, but here in the display section, we don't have an option to switch between 1080p or QHD. By default, resolution is set to 1440 and we don't have any option to change the resolution to 1080. So I think this has to be implemented in the upcoming updates because many users uses 1080p to save some battery on their devices. And guys, from next month, we might start review on custom rooms. Hopefully we are expecting stable builds of custom room from next month. So once we start getting the stable custom rooms, for sure we'll start with the review of those particular rooms. And I also noticed charging speed have been improved on the latest build of Paranoid Android. On the previous build, I did mention slow charging issue, but that thing I guess it has been fixed on this latest build. Also the battery backup seems to be decent enough. And also on the last update, many times settings UI used to crash. But till now I haven't faced any kind of issues with the same. Almost everything is working great till now. I've been using this custom room since yesterday. Till now no issues to be faced. Paranoid team haven't fixed this minor issue of fingerprint registering animation. So here you can see if I just tap on FOD to register my finger. The animation completely gets filled. Usually this animation is to give us the information about how many more times we need to tap on the FOD icon. So on Paranoid Android we still don't get the idea how many more times we need to tap on the fingerprint scanner. We have to completely rely on the system pop-up or the vibrations. But with no doubt, fingerprint scanner is pretty fast. So this is just a minor bug and doesn't affect the daily usage. Still, there are users who have been facing issues with the widewind security level. For me, it's always been on L1 because while flashing any custom room, I make sure my device is on latest build of Oxygen OS and I also make sure that Oxygen OS is properly installed on both the slots. If you guys have security level of L3, then you can just flash Oxygen OS latest build of your particular device on both the slots and then proceed with the installation process of any custom room. Device also passes through safety net checks so you won't have any kind of problems with the payment services. Basic services works as expected, calling have no issues at all, voltage service and Wi-Fi calling do work. With the stock dialer we don't get the option to record calls, alert slider doesn't have any kind of issues and all of the gestures works really great like lift to check the device, double tap to wake. And I'm not sure about one of the gesture which was quick tap. So I personally did not notice on the previous build. I might have missed out. But here we have a quick tap gesture and which can help you do lot many things like take screenshot, access your digital assistant, play or pause music, see recents, show notification and many more. So I basically use this feature to take screenshot. Soon I double tap on my device, it takes screenshot. 
as you can see here so i personally like this feature as said you can customize it as per your requirement though we don't get the gaming toolbox on paranoid android rest everything is great and if you guys want to try out android 12 on your oneplus 7 series then i can recommend you guys paranoid android as a daily driver and for the installation process you guys can find the video guide in the description below just follow the same guide and you will be good to go so guys this was the quick look on the latest build of paranoid android if you still have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video